Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Unjun's Place. So I'm here once again at XM Studios broadcast room. Thank you, XM Studios. And with me is none other than the new XM Studios Fantasia diorama. Really beautiful piece. Um, I'm a fan of the Fantasia movie. I really love it when I was a kid. It, it stuck with me even when I grew up. So seeing this piece, when they first posted it, I was really excited. And now seeing, I, I actually kept asking XM when do they have this in in the gallery because I think when they it was already up in pre-order, it still wasn't uh, shown here in the gallery. So when I heard it's here in Singapore, then I just grabbed the opportunity and have a look with it. And then now I'm gonna give you guys a first impression of this piece. So let's get started. First things first, so this is actually already uh, in XM Studios uh, website for pre-order, it's entitled Fantasia. So it actually has a dimension of 32, I guess the 32 is the depth, uh, the width is the 36 and 41 cm40 height. Um, the weight is I think around 7 kg, it has an addition size of 300. Uh, that's quite a uh, really good uh, edition size. Uh, the artist is Robert Griggs Otavio Liborio, Liborio for the 3D and the 2D for Robert and the XM Studio Design and Development. Um, this is actually also having some switch outs which I actually have here. This one. So the first is like the chromed one. I, I guess these two are chrome, but this is only silver. I hope you can see. I'm not so sure if you're able to see this properly. Let me try that. Anyway, I'll give you guys some close-ups on this. There, I, I hope it focused. Anyway, so this is the switch out to actually this one. Uh, so this is the regular one where it's colored nicely. Uh, and then you switch it out from in here like this So that's the one I kind of don't prefer this uh, to be honest. I just love the The original one the, the one with the color I just love that and also this one right here with the tricolor silver and kind of orange red and also like light blue so I kind of don't prefer this I really prefer the This Mickey right here I prefer this one, looks very nice, very organic, very natural. I love that. So those are the different switch outs. And yeah, this is uh, having a polystone um, uh, made and also I think there are a lot also like um, plastic in here. I think they, they mention here like a PU, um, but either way, it looks very beautiful. I really love it. I love the clear resin, which I will be doing also like uh, the best of uh, photos for this one, which I will light this beautifully. I really love that. Super excited to show that as well. For my first impressions of this piece, uh, looking at it in the photos, I already see that it looks good. Um, looking at in actual makes me really love this water. Um, this uh, clear resin right here, I love it. Uh, not be for being realistic, but looking very cartoony. And I, I love, because I love the backdrop of this one. Look at this. It goes up here, really beautiful. And I'm not so sure, maybe I can give you also like a, a close-up shots or this or videos. There's actually like very nice uh, white foamy if it's not foam but it has that uh, you know when there's a foam in the water that, that white it has that color but it is not actually foam i do wish it it formed uh, like a foam but it has that effect like i said it's not a realistic look uh, or sculpt but it's more of a cartoony so i just love that it makes it more simple makes it more organic and natural as well because the movie itself was like very cartoony um, and non-realistic <laughs> to be honest and I love that and that's what made Fantasia really good for me because of that organic cartoon uh, feel um, yeah so this is actually more or less the the backdrop of the of the piece of the diorama and there's also water um, underneath of it like the clear resin I'm not so sure yet if for sure I, I guess they will fix or make this more 
uh, nicely done. There's somehow like a separation from this one and also uh, the base itself. Um, I'm not so sure with the actual, I have to check with the actual photos that they, they put up. Uh, but either way, I think the clear resin works because I think in the movie, if you remember, the, the water kind of rose up. So that's quite nice. And to add it up, if you have some light up for this piece and with the, which I am thinking, <laughs> uh, having the, how do I say, the, the rocks as well. It, it has a very nice contrast to that where all the mickeys, uh, mickeys <laughs> are, are on top or in there. So it has a very nice, I would say, base and backdrop combination. So I just really love that. So before we go to the mickeys, um, I would say, uh, let's talk first for Master Yen right here. So to be honest, I also don't know how this is assembled. It's already assembled. I'm not so sure if it's just one piece. We'll see. Um, but I do, again, I've shown already that you can actually do a switch out for this one. But for Master Yen, um, he's actually right here in the right side casting some magic. I do wish there's some kind of light up that it will cast uh, a light here and then it, it bright. there's like somehow when the light passes through there's different colors like rainbow or something. That would have been nice but that's just me imagining things. Uh, so he's here. The colors of it is very good. I think it's accurate. It's movie accurate. Uh, and the different Mickeys right here in the broom. So there's a Mickey right here um, also somehow hidden i hope you can see there's a mickey in the middle which i love because this is just sleeping there very lazy uh, there's a mickey also like fetching some water there's a mickey doing magic like doing uh, like that with the brooms and everything and i don't know if the broom is following the orders or not <laughs> either way there's also a mickey right here this one um i do not know what he's doing maybe he's trying to cover or stay away from the the broom who's having some water on top something like that maybe uh, there's a mickey also floating this one i also don't know what he's doing and there's a mickey on top where you can actually do the switch out which is awesome so those are the different i guess characters i'm not so sure if it's still considered characters it's just two of them here anyway but it does look good it does tell the story it does tell the story of what happened in the movie um, and i really love it it looks awesome looks very colorful the contrast between the two uh parts of the base or i guess also the backdrop the water the rocks and the colors of the red blue of mickey and brown and then this butterfly like rainbow color and also master yen looks awesome really beautiful stuff Final thoughts on this piece. Um, I would say it's really amazing. Um, I didn't pull the trigger, uh, more or less because of the price in itself. Uh, I think this is around like 600 SGD, I think. Uh, if this was like 350, 400, somewhere there, I think I would pull the trigger right away. I'm a Fantasia fan and this is really, really good stuff. Um, as a look of the piece, I think right now I can see some I don't know if these are issues, but there's like lining uh, at the back because I guess this is a prototype. Um, for sure, in the actual piece, this will be clean. XM always has a very good reputation with quality, so I think this will be cleaned anyway. Um, as a look in itself, it looks really good. It's very natural, very uh, true to the to the cartoons, and I really love that because that's what I love about the Fantasia. It's very cartoony and yeah, this just looks, screams cartoons for me. And yeah, um, let me know what you think in this. Uh, I hope I've given you a more clear picture, a more uh, clear video as well. I hope you got that to help you decide to get this. Um, it's really good and if you're still is not um, satisfied with the videos and the photos, you can also come here if you're in Singapore come to the XM Studios gallery, check it out in person, how it is, and decide for yourself. Anyway, um, I hope that helps. If you like the video as well, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. Leave your comments down below. Let us know what you think about this piece. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please help me uh, make it grow. Uh, subscribe to The Ancient's Place and see you in the next videos.